Canada Post is building a massive new parcel processing facility to keep up with the surge in online shopping in recent years, and they're naming it after the country's first black letter carrier, an honor his grandson says he could have never imagined. He would say these words, well done, well done my children. I never thought and neither did my grandparents ever think that coming over as from slavery to humanity that we would ever get this far. The facility is called the Albert Jackson Processing Centre and 40 family members, some of whom also work at Canada Post, were in attendance at an unveiling event to acknowledge the honour and celebrate his legacy. What is a legacy? It is planting seeds in a garden that you will never see. Well, great-great-grandpa Albert, look at all of us here today honouring you. We are your garden. You did not give into your past and let that determine your future. Your self-belief has allowed this garden to flourish beyond belief. And for that, we are truly grateful. During the event, Canada Post revealed that the facility will be its largest in the country, the size of six football fields, able to process a million packages a day. With this facility, with the sortation technology, a parcel can come in and get sorted and get relabeled and, and uh, to go to another location within four minutes. That means your online shopping will likely get to you sooner than you're used to. What we've learned from COVID is Canadians expect more. They expect better service, quicker service, and we're responding to that. It's our number one priority right now is to enhance service. That's what this facility is all about. City Councillor Cynthia Lai says she's excited for the employment opportunities the plant will bring to her ward and applauds the decision to name it after Jackson. We said that diversity is a fact, but inclusion is a choice. I'm actually commanding Canada Post for taking the leadership and walking the talk. His great-great-granddaughter agrees, adding that Jackson's tireless battle against racism and discrimination is an inspiration for all the generations that follow in his footsteps. He was and is our hero and beloved ancestor. It was his strength, determination and tenacity that helped him achieve his goal of becoming a postman to support his family against all odds. The facility is expected to be fully operational early next year. For more on this story, you can go to our website citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.